Today we will talk about useful tips and tricks uh, on Protosteel. So my name is Olkan Since 2012, I've been working for Proto Software. So let's just uh, talk about our agenda today. Uh, we will briefly talk about the uh, journey of Prota, then what we offer, our core advantages, then we will continue with the live webinar. Uh, so project delivery process uh, consists of different stages such as modeling, analysis, design, detailing, fabrication, and beam. So Protoss uh, Structure Suite uh, has integrated all these stages in a single solution. So uh, Protoss Structure Suite is broken into four different modules. Uh, the first one is Protoss Structure, which is our core module. So in here you can analyze, design uh, members uh, regarding the selected code, create your reports. Then uh, you can, of course, it's flexible software that can connect to details, steel, and beam. So uh, then you can push your model to proto details, and with a single click, you can produce all your detailed drawings. Uh, of course, if you don't have any CAD software, you can use our CAD features. Um, Drafting with intelligent rebars is uh, uh, also uh, possible in the software, and uh, you can use our uh, library uh, macros uh, in our libraries, such as uh, retaining walls, piles, uh, pool design, or scaffold design, etc. In protest uh, still, we have plenty of different connection macros, like 90% of different uh, connections can be uh, generated by our macros. We have IntelliConnect, which is uh, uh, actually a revolutionary feature that can assess the join and select the most uh, appropriate connection. Of course, you can create connection calculation reports. Uh, assembly and part drawings are fully automated, and uh, also general arrangement drawings are semi-automated. Uh, in the software. Okay, uh, so in ProtaBeam, we have several Beam collaboration tools. Especially, uh, you can import and export your model uh, with Revit software bidirectionally, uh, IFC, 2D, 3D, DXF, uh, and sub integration uh, can be done uh, by ProtaBeam as well. So uh, now we cover 25 different international design codes, nine language support, and we have 200, more than 200 design guides in, uh, on our website. Uh, now we support 80 different countries with our 18 partners in 14 different offices. So you can see uh, our headquarters in Poland, Turkey, and Malaysia. So the other Offices are also located uh, on this map, uh, are given on this map. So uh, as you see, uh, almost all uh, territories are covered uh, by our resellers or our offices. So uh, since, uh, let's talk about our history. Since 1992, uh, we have accomplished significant milestones uh, and uh, when we come to the present, uh, Proto Software, uh, uh, actually Proto Structure Suite is being supplied to 80 different countries. So, as I mentioned before, we have different stages uh, in the project delivery. So, modeling, design, component design, detailing, fabrication, and structural beam. So uh, most of engineers are using different uh, softwares which are not compatible with each other. And this uh, brings a really tedious and time consuming process. But uh, what we offer in PhotoStructure Suite, uh, an integrated software that can model, analyze, design, detailing, fabrication, structural beam in a single solution. So now let's talk about features for speeding up design and detailing. Uh, in Teleconnect, 
uh, is a revolutionary feature that can assess the join and uh, select the most appropriate connection for that node. So uh, we will see uh, later object grouping, filtering and selection. So the selection operation automatically groups selected objects regarding to the macro profile world uh, types. So clash detection and auditing, uh, selected members are automatically checked for clashes and duplicated or overlap elements are detected by auditing details feature. Uh, with design status tools, uh, you can check uh, the connection is satis uh, satisfying or not, or uh, you can uh, check the summary of, of your designs uh, uh, by design status tools. Of course, uh, with macro properties, you can enhance your productivity. So uh, even in complex situations, uh, by using these macro properties, you can achieve uh, different, uh, different connections for different scenarios. Uh, in this webinar, we will talk about a bit uh, user-defined connections and I, I will give some tips. Uh, so in rare cases, macros may not meet your expectations. So uh, in such situations, uh, our powerful manual macro capabilities will enable you to complete your project and produce details precisely. We have really uh, numerous and useful shortcuts uh, that can speed up uh, in your design and detailing process. So let's start with IntelliConnect. IntelliConnect uh, is a revolutionary feature that you can quickly select all members, select IntelliConnect button. Even in seconds, you can complete all connections. For example, in this case, GERD connections. Uh, just in seconds, and uh, it's really a revolutionary feature uh, which is provided in the uh, protosteel. So uh, you can quickly group elements. So it enables you to make some adjustments for the grouped elements. Uh, just you need to select all members, then press enter button on your keyboard. Uh, so once you run the class check, the clashing elements will be highlighted in a red color. So uh, it means that we need to resolve these clashes before we detail the, uh, before we create assembly and part drawings. Of course, uh, you can use audit model to check uh, that is there any geometrical issues or not. For instance, we have in, in this case, we have some overlapping profiles, duplicated plates that we need to correct. Um, once you select a connection, you can click on the connection icon and uh, it's so easy to create a design report selected the, uh, re regarding to the selected code. So uh, we have really detailed report. Uh, you can see all these connections status in the uh, summary table. And if you want, you can also colorize them in a 3D view. Uh, of course, uh, we have really detailed macro properties and now we are providing the default values. For example, before these um, parameters were just blank, but now we are also providing the values uh, like it's grayed out. You can clearly see this. And uh, you can just change these parameters and uh, regarding to different scenarios any kind of different connection can be generated by using these parameters. Shortcuts, uh, of course, you can go to help and once you click on shortcuts, uh, we will list keyboard shortcuts for you. I uh, frequently using uh, use these connections because uh, definitely they will just uh, these uh, shortcuts will uh, accelerate your uh, design process. So let's see uh, in action. Uh, 
now you will see uh, our model uh, here, my model here. Uh, as you see, I already analyzed and completed the designs of this model. You can see the utilization ratios and design states are passing. So uh, now I would like to uh, push this model to the protosteel environment. Uh, by the way, let me close this and I will send it again. So all this uh, models information will be extracted to the protosteel environment and uh, So you can just skip these errors. It's not errors actually, they're just warnings. It means that the elements are already existing because before uh, I have sent these elements uh, to Protosteel again. So uh, the software is warning that they are already existed in the current model. So you can just skip uh, these uh, warnings. First, uh, I would like to start with our macros because we have really uh, detailed uh, and uh, plenty of uh, different uh, macros in um, our macro gallery. So I would like to start with base plate connections. So let's just uh, select simple base plate and select the column. As you see, the base plate has been inserted to the uh, bottom of the column. Of course, if you need stiffeners, we can use the stiffen uh, base plate. So again, you just need to select the column. That's all. Uh, you can press M and enter button, M, M and enter button, and you can get into the macro, macro properties. So in here, if you want, you can just remove some stiffeners because, uh, as you see, it's clashing with this brace. So let's just apply. If you need, you can just change the uh, plate dimensions from here. Okay. Of course, if you have a hollow section element, you can also create base plates for them, just like this. So if you need anchors, you can just go to uh, steel detailing part and right click, select the plate. That's all. Once you hide this pedestal, you will see the anchors. Let's continue uh, in this node. Uh, uh, on this node, I would like to create a hunch connection. So uh, to create a hunch connection, we can select beam to column connections. And under this, you will clearly see the hunch, okay? Uh, so I just need to pick first column, then beam element, just like this. So uh, once you create the uh, connection, you can just get into macro properties and do some adjustments. For instance, you can just uh, increase the depth and length of punch by coefficients, for example, three, two, it's up to the user, just like this. You can add, uh, you can change the uh, plate thicknesses or uh, bolt diameters well thicknesses all can be uh, modified via macro properties. I would like to add an extra stiffener for the uh, mid zone. Okay. So on the other side, uh, I would like to add a stiffened end plate. So first, but this time I would like to use the existing stiffeners. So that's why first I'm selecting column main member, secondary, which is a beam, this beam actually, and uh, stiffeners, just like this. Then you can finalize with the right click of your mouse. So as you see uh, now, uh, we haven't completed yet, so I just need to connect this brace. Uh, so in the bracing connections, we have several connection types. If you want to create uh, a welded, a welded uh, brace connection, you can use this one, or uh, also for bolted uh, option, you can use a corner bolted cassette plate. So first, I'm gonna select again the main member, brace, 
and a plate which is limiting the sprays, just like this. So even such a complicated connection can be done in seconds. So let's continue. For example, we have an apex hundred over here. Uh, so just we can quickly select the beams and add apex hundred. Of course, you can increase bolt numbers, diameters, plate uh, thicknesses. So all can be customized by user. Uh, of course, if you have uh, hollow sections, you can use a uh, bolted gusset plate to connect hollow sections just like this. We have the same connection on the other side. Okay, let's uh, insert this time welded type. Okay, so both of them are possible. Okay, so uh, let me just uh, hide some elements to show beam to beam connection. Okay. Now, uh, for instance, uh, let's just start with uh, end plate connection. Okay, you just need to pick the main beam, then secondary beam, and right click. That's all. Uh, again, for example, we may have uh, maybe fin plate. Again, the main member and uh, the main, which is our main beam, then uh, secondary beam should be selected. So uh, in this part, maybe we may have angle pleat. So just like this, uh, angle pleat will be generated. Okay, so uh, I think uh, I will take the questions at the end of webinar. Okay. So I see that there are some questions. So uh, I will take the questions at the end of the webinar. Okay. Um, let's continue uh, with uh, our, uh, for example, um, other detailing back rows. So again, uh, for example, we can add our uh, stair steps using by a stringer false macro. You just need to uh, pick the beams and stair steps will be generated just like this. Okay, uh, of course, uh, handrails is uh, available in the software. You can just uh, double click and handrails will be generated. Uh, if you would like to merge these handrails, you can just uh, use handrail connection macro. These handrails can be adjusted as well. For example, let's just insert some values. We can also remove knee plate if you want. Okay, just like this. On the other side, I will do the same. Okay, because it's uh, colliding with the connection, so that's why I'm doing these adjustments. Okay, uh, right. just again, I need to remove this new plate. Okay, so uh, then uh, let's continue. Uh, so I would like to show some additional features uh, for instance, uh, if you need to uh, extend the length of the column, you can just specify values uh, here. Uh, but of course, uh, if this change uh, is affecting the calculations, I suggest you to do this in photo structure. But uh, if you want, you can just uh, change the uh, column length in here as well, for example, just like this. Okay, let's roll it back. And uh, if you would like to copy this adjustment to the other side, you can just uh, select a, a member, uh, use match elements, then uh, select the uh, column that you want to match with this column. Okay, as you see, the column has been extended just like this. So, uh, 
let's continue with some uh, trust connections, okay? We have some trust connections over here. For example, you can just uh, select column, then uh, trust components, just like this, and uh, connection will be generated. Or just uh, we can do the same on the bottom side. Okay. So of course, uh, for the uh, middle part, IntelliConnect uh, may not uh, create connections for, for this node. So in this case, we have a macro. You can use FX Trust Cassette. And you just need to select first main members, then secondary ones. That's all. OK, uh, let's talk about a bit IntelliConnect. So for IntelliConnect, you can just uh, select all elements and right-click. Uh, for instance, let's just in insert hurling connections. If you need uh, different types, you can select from here. You can reverse them. But I will continue with the default values. Even in seconds, all hurlings uh, will be generated just like this. Uh, GERTs are uh, exactly the same, so we just need to select the type, then run button. Normally, uh, it's a tedious process and you need to do one by one with macros, but uh, IntelliConnect is just creating these connections instead of it. So uh, let's continue with, uh, for example, trust connections. Okay, if you know the cassette plate thickness, you can insert. Otherwise, the software will use the uh, gap between two L-shaped profiles. Okay, so you can clearly see that all uh, trust connections are uh, very inserted like this. OK, uh, I think IntelliConnect is clear. But uh, for IntelliConnect, you can also select only a particular place if you want. For example, just let's select this part okay, and run the IntelliConnect. For example, in this part, we can use floor beam connections. So I don't want to lose time. I just used uh, default values. Of course, if you want, you can customize. And as you see, uh, even such a complicated uh, connection can be done by Intel Connect. So uh, the next thing that I want to talk is uh, object grouping. So you can just quickly select uh, members. Uh, and once you press Enter, uh, all objects will be grouped. So you can change multiple. Uh, you can do some adjustments for multiple members. So in our case, I'm going to uh, select base plate connections and increase the thicknesses uh, for the uh, base plates. OK, so I will just go to plates and plate will be 25 uh, millimeter. OK. So now it's just applying to the other ones. You can just double click on it and see that thickness has been increased to 25 millimeter. Of course, uh, you can quickly produce your reports. Uh, you just need to select the macro, okay? Press M button uh, and right click you can uh, create default connection report uh, just like this. They have really detailed reports, and you can see uh, code requirements uh, with formulas. So I suggest you to review our reports. So then uh, 
I would like to talk a bit uh, user defined connections. Okay, so I'm going to create a section on the surface of this profile. So that's why uh, let's go to the view tab and select the view by two points. Okay, uh, and here on the surface of this profile, I have just created a section view. In the steel tab, you can quickly uh, use our, our manual macro tools. So I'm going to start with the plate. You can just use these corners, okay? Press uh, enter button. Now I just need to specify the value for the z axis. So that's why I wrote dz and minus 500, okay? So then I can select the opposite side and close this rectangle just like this. Now uh, my plate has been generated, so you can quickly uh, change the eccentricity with the Control W button on your keyboard. Okay. Then uh, you just need to add a cut object. So um, in here we have 2D fitting. Uh, connection macro. I generally use this macro, uh, of, of course, uh, if I need. Uh, so just uh, you can select the profile, then you just need to draw a plane for the cut object. Okay. So now you can clearly see the edge, and uh, which is uh, available for the belt. So uh, let's go to the weld column. So in here we have fixed weld and weld columns. Fixed weld you can create just uh, particular welds. Uh, you can draw the weld. But in weld column uh, you can select the edge. So I just select the edge and I'm then I'm selecting the member that I want to weld. Okay. So once you double click on it, you can just get into the weld properties and you can increase the uh, size or different materials can be selected. Uh, in this case, I'm going to select all around. Okay. So I don't have to create a separated welds for the all around of the profile. We can do it automatically. Operation location can be workshop or site. Uh, if you do on uh, site, uh, so our uh, assembly drawing will be different, okay? So uh, if you would like to fabricate this element with this plate, you need to select workshop one. Uh, okay, so let's just click on apply button. As you see, uh, it's been uh, applied to the all around of profile. So let's go back to the uh, section view, then I would like to move this corner. Just uh, I will give some offsets uh, to the inside of this profile. So that's why I'm going to select the corners with Alt button. Okay. Then we can uh, just click, uh, press the Control button together to select the second corner. So now we can use Move Special Common. Okay. But before this, I suggest you to set your work plane to the view plane with this button. So it's important. Now I can see my axis. Uh, so the red one represents the X direction, the green one Y direction. So let's just uh, insert 30 millimeter, but of course it will be minus because uh, it will be opposite direction of this arrow. Okay. So let's just uh, insert the negative value. And then uh, I will do the same on the other side. Okay. Again, move special liner. And this time, of course, it, it will be positive value. Now I would like to also uh, just uh, change the uh, upper uh, corner positions. Okay. Again, Alt button, Control, and Alt together for the second corner. Uh, control button uh, allows to select multiple members, so that's why 
uh, I need to use control as well. So uh, let's just uh, move, use move special. And this time I'm gonna insert the value on the y direction minus 20 millimeters, okay? Just like this. So, uh, okay. So let's go to 3D view. You can see that uh, the plate uh, uh, corners uh, has been offset just like this. So uh, let's go to the, again, uh, section view. At this time, I would like to create my bolts. So to create a bolt, I need to select the members that I need to bolt, okay? Then right click. Uh, after this, you can draw your X direction of the bolts. Now, bolts were generated, but they are invalid yet. So we just need to double click on it. You can change the diameters, bolt assembly, or if you want, you can transform this bolt to hole, okay? Um, so in the position part, we just need to insert uh, bolt positions by defining bolt spacings, okay? So let's just insert 60, then 120 millimeter. On the Y, it may start with 60, three times 90, because if you have uh, the same spacing uh, multiple times, so you can uh, use this representation, then uh, 120 millimeter. Okay, once you click on apply, balls were generated just like this. Okay, so uh, of course, if you need, you can add stiffeners to the column member just like this. And uh, so these stiffeners can be used uh, in our macro as well. By the way, uh, if you want, you can just select the corner with Alt button and double click on it. So uh, if you need, you can uh, insert a curved corner just like this. Okay, that's uh, of course with Control Z button, you can just uh, go back to previous state of this column. So let's go back to the global uh, coordinates with this button. Uh, then I will uh, save this connection for further users. I mean, if I need this connection in future, I can quickly use this uh, connection from my library. So, but first I need to store to the library. That's why I'm gonna use the manual macro wizard. Uh, in here, um, we, we just need to uh, select the connection uh, definition. I mean, if the column and beam are colliding with each other, we need to select this. So uh, in this situation, the macro will be generated, okay? So let's insert a name, HEA300 and IPP300, okay? So next, uh, you can create multiple uh, groups regarding to uh, connection type. Then we just need to select the objects. I'm gonna select these objects just like this. Next, uh, then this time, normally in macros, we were selecting first the main member, then secondary member. So now I will just do the opposite. So first I'm gonna select the beam member, then column and right click. Okay, uh, we can continue with finish button and it's been stored to the library. So on the other side, we have exactly the same uh, situations, the same node. So what we can do, uh, we can use this connection uh, first. Again, I'm gonna select beam, then column, okay? Even in different uh, projects, it can be uh, used. Okay, so uh, once you, 
create all these connections, you can check the design status uh, by, or actually uh, by the view, for example. Uh, you can just colorize them. Uh, let me, yeah, okay. You can just colorize them. Uh, as you see, the green ones are sufficient and uh, the red ones are not uh, uh, actually covering the code requirements. So that's why they've been highlighted in a red color. Okay, so uh, what we can do uh, now, I will just remove this color coding and uh, in the uh, drawings and reports part, we have design summary. Okay, in the design summary, uh, you can quickly see the uh, all uh, connections which are failing. Uh, you can just show them in the model. Uh, so uh, it's really helpful if you want to review your design from here. Okay, uh, the next one uh, will be tools. So if you would like to see the clashes, you just need to select all members run clash check. So as you see, I have several clashes and I need to resolve uh, these clashes before I create my details. Otherwise, I may have um, issues in my details. And uh, that's why uh, it's important to be, uh, to resolve clashes before we go further. Uh, on the other hand, uh, if you have some errors in the model, you can detect uh, them via audit model feature, okay? Once you run this test, uh, the software will allow you, for example, if you have duplicate plates or the overlapping for profiles, it will be listed in here. So uh, as you see, I have overlapping profiles in here. So um, I can select this uh, error in here and the software will show this in 3D by highlighting in red color, just like this. So I can clearly see that there is a there's an overlapping between these profiles. So what I can do, I can just click on the profile and do the necessary chains. And uh, as you see, it's been corrected. So I can also uh, create connection uh, for example, we can use uh, uh, splice connection. So in here, just you you, you just need to select uh, column uh, parts and uh, splice has been assigned just like this. So uh, as you see uh, in Protosteel, uh, we we can do uh, we can create so many connections with just a couple of clicks. And just one last thing, for example, I just want to uh, show that uh, you can quickly uh, do some adjustments, for example, plates from here. We are just uh, grouping plates uh, regarding to their thickness or bolts. So uh, if, you wanna, if you want to uh, make revisions uh, in, in for multiple elements, it's uh, so easy, and uh, it will be. It can be done in in a very short uh, duration. So uh, I have just completed my presentation. Just I would like to remind uh, some important stuff uh, about our help center. Okay. So in here. Uh, once you purchase the product, you will be able to reach our help center. In here, uh, you can uh, benefit from our uh, videos, our user uh, reference manuals. Uh, you can also create tickets and um, you can get support from our uh, team. Um, also, we have so many white papers in our website, so you can uh, review our calculations uh, by these documents. Uh, 
in YouTube, we have Protostructure YouTube channel. So uh, please subscribe our uh, channel uh, to receive the uh, notifications for our latest videos. Uh, of course, we have so many uh, videos in here. Uh, uh, so I, I, I believe that uh, these videos will be really helpful if you have any uh, doubts or any questions. Um, we have social media accounts in LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Please follow us. Uh, you can reach to latest uh, news or latest webinar uh, notifications. Uh, if you are interested in with our product, please uh, send an email to globalsales.protosoftware.com or you can visit our website www.protosoftware.com. Thank you for your attendance. I'm grateful uh, that uh, today uh, you, you have just uh, spared your time for us. Uh, hope to see you in our next webinar. Bye.